We were kindly invited again to the EGM of the Association of Professional Independent Chimney Sweeps, which happily meant a trip to the Severn River, just near the beautiful Barclay Castle. It looked amazing on a crisp January day. We took the opportunity to get Zach at Rotary Power Sweeps to talk to us about the best way to clean the chimney with a Rico heat installed. Everybody asks whether you can clean through the flue mm -hmm. um, and, and through the coil with the Rico heat in. Here's the expert, Zach. Um, so I've seen a lot of people at the minute shoving manual brushes and stuff. Um, even the softest manual brush will struggle um, because manual, the brushes are just, just harder because they're not made for rotary cleaning, whereas this stuff's pearl on, so it's really, really thin. Right. So when you, when you put this one through, it kind of just fits in perfectly. I mean, this is a five inch uh, mold brush. Yeah. Um, and it is reaching the corners per kind of spiral, as you can see. You kind of need to do like a kind of a stabbing effect to get all coverage. So, yeah. if it, in an ideal kind of world, because uh, it's single skin kind of stove pipe, you can be a little bit more aggressive with it. So, if you wanted to put maybe a six inch, a little bit oversized, just so you definitely know you get full coverage in there. Right. Um, like I say, you can clean this um, depending on how dirty it is. Um, I wouldn't. Just for this section, I wouldn't rotary clean it. I'd still just manually clean it. Yeah. yeah. Um, from the heat anyway, like in there, the, the soot shouldn't be too. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's, it's light. It's not going to be tarry, lighter yeah, than it's the rest. Be very of it. light. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. like I say, you don't need too an aggressive brush to, to get it sorted. Really. Yeah. So, yeah. This one on here, nice and easy through it. That's just a five inch and a five inch. Um, and uh, and so, through, so so what is this one compared to that one? This one's kind of comparable to. This is a seven inch. Um, nylon brush yeah. which I think is pushing it to about a small no a soft uh, manual brush so right. this being nylon it is two inch oversized which yeah. again is really aggressive but as soon as you put that in there it's, it's, it's not really doing much because nylon's yeah, a lot it, stiffer it, as you can so, tell. So our, our issue is that you're sweeping you go through the coil yeah and then you're sweeping the rest of the chimney yeah, so, yeah. So, okay. so if we so if we're yeah, so that would there's a six inch there. Yeah, that's just got to go. So that's an inch oversized for that one. That's got to go through there. And yeah. Then up. So um, with this one, you, it'll be it'll be more difficult to do. Yeah. Um, but it will it will pass through. But it's again how aggressive you want to be with it. Yeah. Um, because it, it. But it passes through and it does. Yeah, it will pass through. A whip, a whip. If you just want to pass through it and not yeah. clean this section. Yeah. A whip will guide through it. Yes. Um, so you'd have no issues doing it that way. Yeah. Um, so, so you clean the coil with the mole, yeah, and then you put a whip through there. Yeah, or you could go. just continue with the mole going yeah. up to the rest of the chimney and clean yeah. the rest of the chimney. So, yeah. there's multiple ways of doing it. Yeah, um, yeah it just depends on, on the sizing, really. Like I say, just for the spiral bit, you could potentially just go over size a little bit. Yeah, um, and then and then go on what you need to do, put the right brush up after that. Yeah, um, but like I say, with a soft mole brush. You shouldn't run into any issues just because yeah. they're so thin, and when you're rotating anyway, that's that's where the cleaning comes into effect. So, right, right. Um, so, so with the mole, you can actually so you spin this. So it doesn't have yeah, to be yeah. So it looks like a manual brush, yeah, but yeah. It's, it's it's made for rotary cleaning. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You can be um, yeah. That, that, that's that's the difference between the two. You need like a hard manual brush to do the cleaning because it doesn't spin. Whereas yeah. to be um, to get the same brush. effect, you can spin a soft brush yeah. Yeah. Um, to get to get the same uh, outcome out of it. So, yeah. Um, no, that's fantastic. Yeah. So I mean, you. Yeah, we, the, the guys who are sweeping them sweep them with no problem, but it's yeah. really nice to have an expert view on all different yeah, sorts yeah, yeah. of brushes. Yeah. That I you mean, can judging use. from it, it's kind of new in the industry, new for me to look at, so it's good to kind of see which brush will work best. Yeah. Um, what even people are asking us, saying, "Oh, we've got this. We're installing this. And yeah. How do we how do we clean uh, the flue?" And we can then recommend a brush to do it. Yeah. Um, like right, I say, you can just know the differences between manual brush where you're going to struggle doing it versus yeah. a whip that might not reach all the all the outside edge of yeah. the flue where the uh, no, spiral section is i, I mean the, what we actually find is that you know the your professional chimney sweep has got all the range of brushes and it's yeah. absolutely no yeah. problem you get people asking that they want to be able to sweep it themselves and yeah. i tend to say the, yeah. the kit you need is yeah, more expensive if, than if, that, if they are than really kind of worried working. about it then get a professional to do it obviously yeah, but that's right yeah I mean, they, they could buy some cheap homeowner kit, but again, they won't get full coverage to what like they, a chimney sweep will do. Yeah, no, that's um, right. And the heads on the cheap stuff are too big. Yeah. Um, so they'll go up, but they won't yeah, come yeah. down. Whereas yeah. this stuff, it, yeah. it actually, the, even though the bristles are stiff, this will still go. Yeah, the key it'll one, go it, it, it'll still yeah. go through. It's and, just, if, like I say, if, you put, if you're going to try and shove a too 
um, like a brush that's too, a brush that's too stiff, you yeah. might nudge something as well, or anything yeah, that's yeah. going to come loose. Any fire cement that might come loose on, on the joints yeah, of the stove yeah. and stuff like that. So, so you're better you off, off with the safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play it safe. Get get a soft one, yeah. uh, and then go from there. Because if you just if you're really concerned about this section. Use just a brush purely for this section. That's bring right. it back down. Like yeah, I said, yeah. it's only it's at the bottom of the. the yeah, yeah, anyway, that's so. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it back down and then go through with yeah, your flail and, and, and clean yeah, the rest. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. That's Thanks, fine. Zach. That's cool. That's, that's brilliant. Thanks very much.